Hey there, Louis Acabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the order of columns in a SharePoint online list. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now I am going to show you a few different ways that you can change the order of columns in a SharePoint online list. Now, the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to change the order of columns in a SharePoint online list when you're using the classic experience. Now the classic experience resembles older versions of SharePoint, so SharePoint 2016, 2019, and you'll notice that it doesn't have that sort of clean, more modern look that the modern experience does. So if you are working with a SharePoint list and it looks like this one, the way that you'll want to reorder the columns is to click on these three dots here. And essentially what this button does is it allows you to modify the data view behind your SharePoint list. So you wanna go ahead and click modify this view. This is where you can come to actually specify the order in which you want your columns to appear. So you'll notice that you have a bunch of different columns. You have a checkbox that reads display. To actually display a column, you wanna ensure that it's checked. And if you actually wanna change the position of that column, you want to adjust the position from left field. So what this is going to do is whatever value is populated in a column's position from left, that is going to determine where that column actually appears in the view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my customer last name into position two. I'm going to have invoice date appear in position three. I'm going to have invoice month appear in position four and invoice year appear in position five. Now, once you've set your desired order in the position from left column, all you need to do is scroll to the very bottom of this page and you wanna go ahead and click on the OK button. Now you can see here that my list has updated uh, and now I have the customer first name appearing first, followed by the customer last name, the invoice date, the invoice month, and then the invoice year. So those are the changes that I made to the order of columns. And again, if you are working with a list that appears the same way as this list does, that means you're using SharePoint Online, the classic experience, and to change the order of columns, again, you wanna click on these three dots here, this is going to bring you into the view menu and you wanna click on modify this view and you just want to go ahead and change the position from left values for your columns to reorder them. Now let's go ahead and let's look at how to change the order of columns when working in the SharePoint Online Modern Experience. All right, now you can see here that I have now switched to the SharePoint Online Modern Experience. And again, in the context of a SharePoint list, you can see here that it looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, with respect to choice columns, you can see here that you have the different color options for the different choices. So this is the Modern Experience. Now to change the order of columns in a SharePoint Online list when in the Modern Experience, there are two ways that you can actually do this. Uh, the fastest and easiest way is to just grab a column that you want to reposition just by clicking on it and you can actually just drag it into the desired position. So if I want to grab invoice month and place it in between customer first name and last name, I can just grab it, drag it into position and let go and you can see here that I have now rearranged the order of the columns. Now I'm going to do this again and I want to draw your attention to this all items text here. So this is where we're going to go next to alter the position of columns in a list. But essentially when we change the positioning of a column, you're going to notice here that it says view saved um, because essentially just dragging columns into different positions again is just changing the SharePoint online list view. It's just doing it through the user interface in a faster manner. Now, the other way that you can change the order of columns when working in the modern experience is to click on the all items dropdown. 
This is where you can actually come to select your different views and to modify the different views. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit current view. And what this is going to do is this is going to bring us into the same menu that we saw when we were working in the classic experience. And again, if you want to change the order of your columns from this menu, all you want to do is select the desired position from left, uh, and that's going to then allow you to rearrange the columns into your desired order. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to change the order of columns in a SharePoint online list. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acabalos. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.